Chinese food is a cuisine we have all taken to our hearts and stomachs in the UK, beating fish and chips into second place when it comes to takeaways. So it's that very love which has brought me here to its heart, Hong Kong. A city bursting to the brim with smells, tastes and towering skyscrapers. Cantonese-style dishes are top of the menu for the 7 million local Hong Kongers. And amongst all the hustle and bustle, wherever you turn you'll find a melting pot of flavours just waiting to be tasted. And that's exactly why I've come here, to sample outstanding menus and to discover just how much Hong Kong foodies influence will eat back home. So to get started, today on the menu is dim sum. Translated as touch your heart, these steamed, baked or fried small bite-sized dumplings are made from a variety of ingredients and traditionally served from steamer baskets. This snack is a main staple here, eaten from breakfast through to lunch and always makes for a loud and happy dining experience. If you're looking for dim sum with star appeal, then Cheap Eat Tim Ho Wan is definitely the place to come. Not only is this the cheapest Michelin star restaurant in Hong Kong, in fact, the whole world. And it's so popular, people queue here for hours to get a table. Hey. Restaurant owner Mr Mac has been serving dishes to hungry locals for four years. I'm in. And I'm going to see just how it's made. Well, I'm here in the kitchen with Mr Mac and he's showing me how to make some dim sum. It's very good and very quick. How long have you been making dim sum? 30 years. 30 years? Yeah. How many varieties do you make? Uh, 30? Yeah. Uh, which is the most popular? Uh, this one. This one? It's bao. And this one is called cha su, or for us back home, pork buns. Oh, you push it around. Oh, okay, so you push it in. Pinch and turn, pinch and turn. So. They serve nearly 4,000 of these every day. That's a staggering 28,000 dim sum in just one week. And all handmade. It's actually quite a daunting prospect when you first start, but after a while I actually quite enjoy it. Oh, look at that! Good. Look at that! I'm getting the hang of this. Looks like they're good enough to eat. For my next taste of Hong Kong, the tradition of dim sum is elevated to a whole new level and price tag at the two Michelin star Ming Court. Here it's more quality over quantity with a respectable 500 covers of dim sum a day, all eaten in a more tranquil environment. Thank you, thank you very much. Wow, look at this. Now this moves dim sum into a completely different league and all prepped in their kitchen by their eight-strong team. Mm. What a lucky boy I am. And this is where I'll be making first-class steamed wontons, another dim sum favourite. But these are open parcels. Chef Fai here is going to show me how to do it. Carry on, sir. Oh, cop. Pork, oh, yep. Oh. Nice small pieces. Chinese black mushroom. Oh, okay. They got the shrimp or prawn, which they're just going to crush to make a paste. Lovely chop. First, he adds cornstarch. Mix that together. A little bit of water goes in. And that will coat the pork with the cornstarch. Bring it together, bind it. Chop prawns. So the reason why he's kneading it and bashing it is he wants to get the right texture. So it needs to be sticky. You happy? Okay. Good. Then the seasoning. Chicken stock powder, sugar, followed by chopped mushrooms, and then sesame oil. So it goes into the middle, press it down, and then just gently push it together. It looks very easy, doesn't it? He's a master. How good is that for you? 
Okay. Do this? Hey, yes, yes, yes. Ah, yes. Ah, ah, yes. I Stop. see it. It's a lot more difficult than it looks, trust me. Done. The wontons are then steamed for 10 minutes and served piping hot. Wow, wow, wow. And decorated with crab roe. And now to taste. Clean. And it's very, very nice. We can get dim sum at home, but here it's like the Great British Sandwich. It's part of everyday life. Just like what's on the menu next time. Hong Kong's main meals. Mouth-watering. Bloody good. And taken to the extreme. Extreme Chinese.